President Productions presents the math of ESP. Why it works even if you don't believe in it. Um, kind of, kind of. I've picked on the Bible quite a bit and all of that. Um, and I've pointed out that you know, <clears throat> in 1960, when you know, I became fully enlightened, awakened, whatever, whatever you want to classify it as. You know, fully aware of the spiritual realm and of my contract and all of that. The terminology of a Satan, a devil, a El Diablo, um, the wherever and whatever kind of a demon you want to blame. Now like I said, you, you can go and meet something on the spiritual realm. Um, and in meeting it, feel his power is so great that you're you're terrified of it and you will reflect back images of some kind of a, a demon or terrifying type of thing to you. The simple explanation that I can kind of give to you of it is that, like I said, I talk to a whole lot of different gods and demon uh, gods and spiritual beings and therefore yeah they can be considered demons and um, when they were <clears throat> first, you know, kept introducing me to this San Juan de los Lagos town city of 55,000 people, um, I kind of I kind of made note of the fact to them that, you know, hey, I've been celibate for a long time. You got me in a place where the kind of women I like is what I'm seeing walk around. But these are all Catholics and Christians. I don't touch Catholic and Christian women anymore because you know, they just kind of, you know, a little bit too impractical for me to be around because the first thing I want to do is pick my pockets to go put money in whatever their favorite church is, which of course would be a violation of my, my personal desires of where my money goes. I have no reason to pay somebody to breathe hot air. Okay, I didn't donate to Donald Trump. I sure as heck ain't donating to the Pope. And the Pope is just as much hot air and, and lying and cheating. I mean, think about it. You, and I talked about this earlier in the Math of ESP stuff. You are paying a priest to pray for you. You're giving him money and walking away with the belief that he's going to go sit down and do this. Oh, please, dear God, you have to help this one particular person. And you totally miss the fact that, A, if the priest gets 50 requests in a day, <clears throat> the most he's going to do is mention you in whatever little sermon he's giving, you know, so that maybe your fellow um, churchgoers, I don't even want to call them like practitioners or anything like that, but I mean, the rest of your people in your little group there might pray for you. Um, you're putting almost no energy into it at all. Therefore, when the God that is going to grant you the request, the favor, looks at your heart, it's not, not really going to be anything there. <clears throat> the fact that you went and paid somebody else to do it, you know, kind of gets back to that old terminology of what's called materialism. But your lack of any energy put into it you put money, not energy, okay? <clears throat> you put energy into making the money. You did not put energy directly into the action of asking for a miracle or you know, prayers, blessings, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> this is quite obviously what leads up to the idea of what a demon or something is because you are told not to go to the gods by the churches and by all these religions and I don't care how far back you go the gods are always horrible things and you don't want to get near them and please you've got to believe us preachers and priests that hide away inside of our convents and, and our monasteries and, 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 and you know our exclusive places yeah, we're, we're, we're going out there challenging these bullies for you because, you know, that's why we hide away from everything. We don't go out and walk around in everyday life, you know. Um, that's the same thing the aristocratic elite rich have also always done all through life. So you can see where that intertwining, that love affair between politicians and religions is extremely tight. 
in doing that, <clears throat> you become literally the demon. Okay? Your energy is a focal point of doing wrong. Like I said, I'm in a town that is, you know, a sainted town, okay? Uh, it, has, it is actually a pilgrimage town. It has a ceremony or a whole thing around this thing that has got the San Juan de los Lagos um, spirit or sa Santos here. That was a circus production in 1632. Last year they had the, the annual performance of that little enactment where you see the pretty little girl tumbling down off the trapeze thing and then the priest comes out waving his plastic doll and she's healed and every oh it's a miracle! Okay, the whole thing was a farce. They don't want you to go look at anything. They don't, that's why in 1961 when I walked into the church and I said, hey, why don't you guys teach what the real Christ wants you to teach was the acceptance of everything and stop trying to rule and control. Ah! They freak out. Hey, okay, 58 years later, I'm still alive and I have walked into this church that produces 10 to 50 million dollars per year to the Vatican in donations and everything like that. And two years ago, I walked in, and they, they, they haven't come around to talk to me. Rather, the opposite. They have stopped going to the places I go. Now, you start understanding the paranoia of the elite when you start seeing what they do and how they do it and stuff like that. And that's what they do. They run and go high. Oh, you're not worthy of us. I outrank a pope, and I have stood in front of their god, and I am here and specified to them that the God Christ and the Santos that they, that, you know, Spirituality Lucy, um, which they call Guadalupe and, and Virgin Mary and San Juan de los Lagos, and, and all, you know, all, all these different towns have the, have the same saint, but they have their little old name, and then these people, these pilgrimage people, you know, they walk from one to the next, which, you know, think about death marches, uh, think about stormtroopers, think about uh, the Hitler, you know, goose step, which, you know, is so hard of a jar to the body that you have to concentrate on what you're doing and totally block out any kind of conversation, any kind of think about what you're doing. Think about the United States government saying, you will shoot and kill who we tell you to, right? You, you're not going to question orders. They actually get up there in front of the United States public and tell them <clears throat> that, you know, Sn uh, Snowden or Chelsea Manning are bad people because they stole secrets to expose corruption. The United States goes in and steals secrets to include corruption in Venezuela, Syria, <laughs> you know, you name it, all the way into the public mass media. And that's not illegal, but Chelsea Manning, you know, going in, going and walking out with a handful of secrets that she got, you know, she got off of the computer when she was still a he, um, you know, got, got arrested and busted for it. Did some horrible time in jail, you know. Um, yeah, the, 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 you know, Edward Snowden, he, he's still out there, you know, try, trying to, you know, keep himself alive and well without this, you know. Julian Assange, people who are actually trying to do something honest are the criminals because your government says so. You very quickly say why I, I shut you down if you start arguing about PC in front of me. Politically correct. You lie, cheat, and steal because there's money in your pocket. That's what politically correct stands for. Okay? Think about back to the Reagan eras when PC started to be, you know, advertised and pushed out there. Okay? Just after, yeah, just after the 70s where, you know, we went from SO2, sulfuric acid, which caused the acid rain all over the world and everybody knew it, to CO2, which is you know, sodas and beer and champagne and dry ice and, you know, billions of gallons of it every day. So how could it possibly be any kind of concern with all mass media, which is, of course, elite rich run. And in the 80s, we have, res you know, good old President Reagan, you know, the leader of the iconic, you know, Republicans, you know, 
We have to do away with truth in advertising because it gets in the way of government profits. Literally telling everybody that you know, corporations now have a free reign to lie to you about anything they want to. Suddenly people start getting worried about you know, the, the, the phone number lists and who's tapping what. We have cell phones that, you know, oh, Apple didn't know that there was any kind of weird chip being put in there by some other foreign country. And, you know, Apple, one of the most exclusive people that know absolutely everything that goes on with their machine to the point where they make their iPhones so you can't change the battery in them so that you have to take it back to them so they can see that you're not doing anything wrong. It's supposedly now not supposed to have known that, you know, some kind of tracking chips were put inside their phones unbeknownst to them. Um, so, you see, there, there, there's this whole realm of how you are literally your own Satan. You are literally your own demon. You are literally what is doing this to yourself. And that's why I say, for me, it's absolutely disgustingly hilarious where, you know, my, my friends in the spiritual realm at the moment are kind, of, are kind of my demons because they said, hey, Peter, come on, man, you, you've been known to beat the devil. Come on, let, let, let's see what you can do with this issue. Let's see you beat this devil. The whole entire human race is going to kill itself. Do you, do you think you can save a couple? Uh, yeah, you know, why do I want to? They've been disgusting to me and everything I, I, you know, believe in or understand. They're disgusting to the spiritual realm and their gods. They're extremely arrogant about the fact that they're 100% responsible for the disgusting mess of their planet. And... The only thing they can do is run around right now screaming and pointing fingers at each other because they are no better than pathetic little, little uneducated children. Children that aren't even taught manners. And they are so deep in this that they cannot understand that what they are doing is exactly what the, you know, especially the United States, is exactly what their El Trumpo the stupid jerk that, you know, that runs around and saying, yeah, he can insult more people in 10 seconds than anybody else on the planet, so he's the most powerful person around. Um, the most powerful person around, based on all of the old, more spiritual stuff, is the person that doesn't have to show themselves that much as a leader. Like I said, 83, I wrote a single-page letter. <laughs> wow, the entire United States... Basically, military turned on its feet around, you know, around NASA and began building an international space station. I outfoxed them. February 20th, I launched Occupy ISS underscore International Space Station. 21 days later, El Trump was telling me he's going to bring the whole entire military after me. There's a war zone out there in space. we got to get up there and protect it. Yeah, I know you. I know what your problem is, Trump. You you don't want to lose any control, and I offer freedom and possibly life if we actually got moving and doing something. But you know, so I say when you stop and think about it, how you view what comes out of the spiritual realm, because I I I'm peeved at them at the very uh, you know. And here in San Juan de los Lagos, I've had like 20 attempts on my life now. They I, I keep asking me, hey, why don't you come out, come out in town here? We, we got this really nice little party way out over here. Pick up any Mexican newspaper. That's what they do. They take people out of town, they shoot and kill them. Okay? I've had poisoned food served in front of my face. Oh, here, you need to, you, well, I've never met you before, but you eat poil, so this is, you should eat this. How do you know I eat poil if you've never met me? And why is that? Why is that cup circled in black energy? And I, and I got a warning, you know, two hours or so ago from your God, that I was going to have poisonous food delivered. Yeah. So that's what I say. Stop and think about who the people are that are doing stuff for money. Stop and think about your revelations in here. And most every other religion does the same thing. The end times are going to be horrible. The demons are everywhere. And then think about how many of you are everywhere doing everything you possibly can to kill yourselves off. You are your own demons. You are your own Satan. <clears throat> and gee, I don't even know if I want to bother trying to beat you guys. 
I'll surrender and walk away. 